going to his contact because I didn't have it memorized, so that was kind of a pain. But so far, so good. I don't feel like I'm dying of withdrawal from my phone yet. So we'll see. So this is where the video blogs end. It seemed like every time I went to film it was really windy or already dark or something else was happening to make the conditions stop working in my favor. I also realized that the mic in the GoPro isn't really the best so hopefully you'll be able to hear me better this way. I can't think of anything more boring than listening to a vlog without some kind of visual aid so for the rest of this video you'll be getting a montage of the rest of my trip through video but with these voiceovers over top. Today we went to Ginny Springs, one of the best freshwater springs in Florida. During the drive over, which was a long one, I didn't have my phone. I noticed that my friend's 13 year old literally had his phone glued to his hand and five inches away from his face the whole car ride, which I hadn't really noticed until mine was absent. all over I had really mixed feelings about this challenge I think this challenge would have been a lot easier during a week that wasn't spent traveling and trying to meet up with friends along the way who lived all over the state of Florida but on the plus side I found myself communicating with people around me a lot more and I also appreciated things around me such as beautiful beaches or amazing springs with underwater caves 
I also realized that the people around me were extremely addicted to their phones. And I'm not sure if I'm the same way or if I was just noticing it, but there were times where we would be walking through public spaces like at Disney World where it was really, really crowded and my friend would just be bumping into people because her head was down and she wasn't watching where she was going. This challenge really opened my eyes to how uh, addicted we are to technology and our phones and how ridiculous we look sometimes uh, with our heads down and thumbs twirling across the screen. So this challenge would have been a lot easier in other circumstances, but I definitely learned a lot from it. Cell phones, I think, are a wonderful invention and um, they're really addicting and their usage should be monitored, but uh, I think it, they're really necessary in our modern world to be able to communicate with people. And um, I look forward to doing another challenge like this in perhaps a different circumstance when um, I'm not as busy or when people aren't really relying on me as much. So we'll see how it works out in other circumstances. Bye-bye.